Now I'm going to practice on my social pyramid. The social pyramid is very important because it determines how important you were in the ancient Egypt. The more you were in the social pyramid depended on what you did for a living. The top was the pharaohs, and then the government officials, and then the soldiers, then the scribes, the merchants, the artisans, the farmers, and the slaves. The pharaohs were probably the most important because everybody looked up to them. The pharaohs were worshipped as a god, but they also had to worship. They'd go to the temple and worship gods every day, or Egypt would turn into chaos. Chaos in Egypt is despair. That would be terrible because the empire would go to work. The second most hard, the hardest job would probably be the slaves because they didn't get paid and they had to do hard work all day in the hot Egyptian sun. Egypt was probably the greatest empire because of their social purity. And the most important, one of the most important person on the social pyramid was the government officials. They would do things like collect taxes, share water equally, and serve as judges. Um, priests were also really important because they would also double as doctors. And the medicine and math and science in ancient Egypt was very important because they were good at it. The best job to have was the pharaoh because they didn't have to do anything really, except give around orders and orders. Scribes were started at age 10 from scribe school. It was passed down from their fathers. The traditions of jobs were always passed down from your father and your mother. The most important scribe was the scribe of the pharaoh. The pharaoh scribe was determined by how well you were. If you were the best scribe, you would be the royal scribe. Here is a scribe right there. Here is a picture of the pharaoh in his Tutankhamun. common. Here are slaves in a soldier. Here are slaves. Here is the social pyramid. Here is <coughs> hieroglyphics. Any questions? <laughs> Was there a section on the social pyramid for gods? No. And they were probably both gods. What was the noble salary? How much did the noble get paid? <coughs> You can't ask about money so much because we don't know it ourselves. Um, how did <laughs> merchants get all the goods that they stole? They would trade for them with like um, the farmers and the artisans. Mostly. But how would they get how they get the stuff that they traded to them? I don't know. With their money that they get, they buy. Um, how did the if there was a section for gods, where would they be? Probably above the pharaohs. 